Hey, it's Laria. I finally have an updated healer add-ons video for you. This has probably been the most requested video I've received in the last two years, so I'm excited to finally make it. This is just meant to be an overview of the add-ons that I use as a healer specifically for raiding. And the first add-on that I want to talk about is LVY. So LVY hasn't changed from my last video. I still use LVY. I actually went into Dragonflight wanting to simplify the number of add-ons that I use. And so I decided to try not using LVY. I've been using it since MOP. So it's been a long time. So I stopped using it for the first couple weeks maybe. And I ended up going back to it because I just, I have my healer profile already set up. I love the raid and party frames that I use. I love the way that they look. And LVI also comes with a font called Expressway <laughs> that I'm obsessed with. And so it was just, it was just easier, but I still use LVI. I do disable quite a few of the LVI skins and I just use the standard default Blizzard UI for some of those things. But for the most part, I love how customizable LVI is. I like that everything is just kind of in one spot so if you need to configure something it's all right there for you kind of in this like giant bundle so i know that it does come with a lot and some people might not need everything that it comes with including me but i just i really like the raid frames i love how easy it is to just go in and if i need to edit the buffs or the debuffs or the size or the font or, or whatever it is if i need to change the color of how a debuff shows up if it's dispellable and whatnot it's just right there and I already know how to do it. So it was just easy to kind of go back to LVY, but I am still using it. Another add-on that I still use is Click. Click is a mouse over healing add-on and I use this on all of my healers, but I also use it on DPS and, and tank characters as well. It's not just for healing. It makes healing a lot easier because you're not juggling, you know, a, a dozen different mouse over healing macros in the game. So it's really easy to just bring up, you know, slash click and you bring up the configuration window and you can go through your spell book and decide which abilities you want as a mouse over healing macro or keybind. So that's pretty straightforward. The UI configuration window is also very easy to figure out. If there was only one add-on I could use, it would probably be click. Weak auras is a close second and we'll get to that in a little bit. But honestly, I think click just makes my life so much easier in WoW. I could use the default Blizzard frame for everything else, the raid frames, party frames, all of that. Click would make my life so much easier. So if you are looking for a mouse over healing add-on, I definitely recommend Click. There are a couple of other alternatives, but I've been using this one for years, again, since probably Mop or Wad maybe, and it's, it's always been great. I've never had any issues with it. An add-on that I did change is bigwigs. I used DBM for the longest time. It was the first add-on for, you know, raid alerts and dungeon alerts that I had ever used, starting again, maybe around MOP, which is when I first started raiding. And I only switched to bigwigs once for <laughs> Mythic Blackhand progression back in WAD. And then I immediately switched back because I had everything already set up in DBM. But I decided to switch it up. This is just personal preference. DBM or bigwigs, I think they're both fine. I just wanted to switch things up a little bit. And now that we're well into Dragonflight and I have all of the fights set up, I usually go through and I change the alert sounds and um, even just the alerts in general. Like some things I, I don't need bars or messages to track and some things I do want a different sound for, like maybe an air horn if something's really important or things like that. So I already have it all set up, so I'll continue to use it. But this one has changed from my last healer add-ons video. So I did want to point it out, but again, it's just, it, I think it's kind of personal preference whether you want to use DBM or bigwigs. I mentioned Weakors earlier. Weakors is an add-on that allows you to create alerts or to track certain information for boss fights or dungeons or things about your class or spec that you're playing. So for example, I track Life Bloom and I track my efflorescence as a Resser Druid. I want to make sure that I am reapplying Life Bloom. Um, I'm always keeping up efflorescence. If I'm using the reforestation talent as a Resser Druid, I might want to track the charges before my Tree of Life pops, just things like that. Um, if you're using Abundance, for example, I like to track that information because I like to know how many rejuves I have out before I start spamming a few regrowths. So 
it it's helpful for certain classes and certain people. I have seen people create these packs of week ores for certain classes. I feel like I, I typically see those on, on Wago. Um, that's personally not my style. I like to identify what I need to track as a player because sometimes what I need help tracking, somebody else might not. I like to track abundance, the talent abundance and how many re rejuice I have out. But somebody else who plays Rester Druid might not want that information. So when it comes to weak ores, my advice as a healer, especially um, as a healer for raiding, is to figure out what you as a player need to track. Because I think with weak ores, it can be really easy to just import a giant class or spec pack with every single ability in your spell book. And then when you're raiding, you find that you don't actually need to see a lot of those abilities. You know, you don't sometimes need to see if Convoke is on cooldown, right? If you are good at looking, you know, at your wherever you have your bars, however your, your UI is set up, it might be easier for you to just look wherever you have it instead of having it in two places with like a giant weak or a pack in the middle of the screen, if this makes sense. So what I like to do is just identify the spells that I need help with. That way I'm not kind of using up all this space on my screen and kind of losing real estate on a boss fight. I just, I know which weak ores I need. I can put them somewhere on my UI. I know that they're there. I know where to look for them. The other thing that I really like about weak auras is that you can just create a weak aura to have a sound trigger. I rely a lot on sound triggers. If anyone has ever seen my kill videos for mythic bosses, or if you've ever caught me streaming, you will notice that a lot of my weak auras have sounds attached to them. So for example, when my life bloom, if my life bloom falls off or when it's time to reapply it, it makes a goat bleat sound. So I know that as soon as I hear that goat bleat, I have to reapply uh, life bloom. I know that if my efflorescence falls off and it's time to put it back down, um, there's a bike horn that plays. I know that if I receive innervate, whether from myself or somebody else, it makes a cat sound. I know that if I have a clear cast proc, it makes a little kitten meow sound. I, I can tell all the different, the differences between all the sounds. I just do really well with sound alerts. They, they catch my attention. I could be focused on my raid frames and healing or the fight or moving out of mechanics or doing whatever I'm doing on a fight and hear a goat bleat and go, whoops, I let life bloom fall off. And I immediately know that that's what I need to do without it taking my attention away from healing or whatever I'm doing on the fight. Another add-on that I use, it hasn't changed, is called Details. I've used Details since WAD. I just, I really like it. There's a ton of information that comes with Details. So if you're somebody who, whether you just want to track DPS and healing and or deaths or whatever you want to track on a fight, or you want an add-on that tells you a lot of in-depth information, Details is my go-to add-on to track all of that stuff. For my cast bar, I use the add-on called Quartz, pretty much just because I've used it since WAD. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of other add-ons out there that will change the look of your cast bar. Um, I just use it because I, I have it kind of configured the way I want it to. I've used it for so long and it just, it's there. I haven't really messed with it too much, but I do really, really like the new default Blizzard cast bar. I just wish it was a little bit more customizable. The reason, one of the biggest reasons why I use Quartz is because I can configure it to show who I'm casting on. And as a healer, that's really important to me. I wanna make sure that in the middle of a fight, especially on Mythic, with a lot of stuff going on, I wanna make sure that I'm casting on the right person. You know, if I if my mouse was just slightly hovering over the person above or below or next to my initial target, then I know I can stop my cast immediately. It doesn't happen very often, but I just like to know who I'm casting on. It's just a little bit of extra information that I like to see on my screen. So it's just an add-on that lets you customize the entire cast bar, move it anywhere you want on your screen. Another one of my favorite rating add-ons is called Method Raid Tools. And this add-on used to be called Exorcist Raid Tools. So if you go back and watch some of my older videos from a couple years ago and you hear me call it ERT or Exorcist Raid Tools, that's why. So it's the same thing, Method Raid Tools. I love this add-on though, especially for raiding because it offers so many different features. I only use a couple of them. I use the ones that I that I need, that I think I need. Um, but one of the big features that I use with Method Raid Tools is this feature to uh, track your 
healing cooldowns or I guess it could be DPS or tank cooldowns if, if that's if those are the specs you're playing but for healing you can track when you're supposed to be using certain healing cooldowns in a fight so the best example I think I have of this is probably on Denathrius I knew that I was using certain cooldowns at different parts of the fight and it was a long fight it was it was over 10 minutes right around 10 minutes or so. And so I knew that I wanted some kind of a reminder just off on the side of my screen that had some kind of countdown to tell me, okay, I'm using Flourish or Trank in you know a minute and a half or 45 seconds or something like that. So if, I, if Convoke came off cooldown, I knew to save it if Method Ray Tools, like right off to the side, if it said, okay, in 15 seconds you're using it, then I knew, okay, I can't use Convoke right now. I need to save it. You can set it up so that you you go into method ray tools and you, you can set up a timer. You could set up just a note without the timers if that's what you want. But again, I was looking for something really specific for that fight. So a quick reminder so I could look off to the side of my screen, see when I was using certain cooldowns and either, you know, hold on to them or figure out, okay, I can I can use flourish here as, you know, as a filler or whatever it was. Another thing I like about method ray tools is that you can track a ton of different raid cooldowns, whether it's DPS cooldowns or healing cooldowns or um, healer externals or tank defensives and things like that, innervates, uh, priest him, etc. It tracks so many different things. You could track interrupts if you really want to, which would be really helpful in Mythic Plus, um, but, but also in raiding, especially if it's a fight where you need to get certain interrupts off. So I, I use this, I use it to track healing cooldowns for everybody who's in the group you can go through without even being in a raid group you can just you know sit in Veldraken or somewhere and go through method raid tools and figure out which cooldowns specifically you want to track so I you know I know that I want to track Trank so that if we have other Rester Druids in the group if I use my Trank I can see what they have um, you might want to track Salvation if you have a Holy Priest in the group you might want to track uh, Spirit Link Totem things like that it's it's just really helpful especially if you're raid leading, you know, you can just quickly look off to the side and see what raid cooldowns you have, what healing cooldowns you have rather. You could track things like rallying cry. So if you know that there's a lot of damage going out, you can look over to the side and if you have a couple warriors, you know, maybe there's around cooldown, but you see that one is available. So it's just extra information to have if you want it. It's not something that is required. Another aspect of method ray tools that I love to use is this little feature where you can track how many battle reses that you have. It's just this little icon, it's the res, the battle res icon, and it has a number inside of it. It tells you how many battle reses that you have. And I just kind of stick that off in a corner on my UI and it's there. I can look down quickly at it to see, you know, how many reses we have or the timer for, you know, the next res if if we don't have one yet. And I can, you know, if it says 45 seconds, then we don't have a, a battle res for 45 seconds. Or it might say two battle reses and the next one's coming up in 20 seconds, things like that. So this, again, just extra information to have, not required, but if you are like me and you want to be able to track some of these things, if your raid leader calls out and says, hey, get this person up, and you look down real quick and you go, oh, whoops, we don't have one, you know, you're able to call out stuff like that. I believe those are all the add-ons I use specifically for raiding. I, I do use other add-ons, but they're not really related to raiding. These ones I felt like they were the most important to share um, and the reasons why. And just remember that this is just an overview. I have other videos that go more in depth about some of these add-ons and specifically how to set them up or how to configure them, how to import uh, LVUI profiles, how to change the profiles and things like that. So if you're interested in more instructional videos about how to use these add-ons, you can click on a link somewhere around here. <laughs> um, or you can go to my channel. I, I do have a bunch of playlists that you can also look through. And if there's something that I don't have or that I haven't made a video on yet, if you're looking for some kind of instructional video or more details about a specific add-on, please let me know in the comments. And if there's an add-on that I missed that you use either as a healer or another role in raiding, let me know what that is 